The inaugural season of the Foster Festival is taking over downtown St. Catharines and promises to keep audiences laughing all summer long. Oh, the season Mr. opener, on a first-name basis, yes, features seven, Canada's seven, best love playwright, seven, Norm Foster, in the starring role. I play a, a reclusive novelist uh, who's, who has a housekeeper of 28 years and he knows nothing about her. And uh, one evening he uh, instigates a conversation with his housekeeper and we really don't know why this happens until we find out towards the end of the play why, why he's doing this. But he asks her, her questions about her life and they discover uh, things about each other through this conversation. And there are a lot of surprises. Some, a lot of humor, some tender moments too, so it's a, it's a nice mix of a, and it's a two hour conversation in real time. Um, and it's fun to play this fellow because he's a lot smarter than I am. He talks a lot better than I do, so it's, it's fun to sort of raise my level up to his level, and so he's fun to play. And it's, and it's, a, a, it's a good to be in the play because, you know, both Patricia and I have worked for, together for years, and, you know, we, we get along, we know each other's moves, and so it's, you, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to do it with Patricia, Once too. Again, sir, Patricia Van Stone, the festival's artistic director, uh, you know is excited to reprise her role with Foster on stage at Karen's Hall. Right, Lucy yeah. Hofferstadt is uh, the housekeeper of David Kilbride's. Uh, she has been in his employ for 28 years, so she thinks she knows pretty much everything about him. She finds out at the beginning of this evening that he knows nothing about her, not even her first name. So it's uh, kind of a wonderful servant master comedy, but it has a huge amount of heart. And through the evening, they, they kind of learn so much ab about one another, including a lot of surprises. With those gentlemen who write papers on the rate of photosynthesis in gymnosperms and the benefits of potassium bisulfate as a food preservative? Yes. Well, on a first-name basis made its debut four years ago, and the pair have performed the play to sold-out crowds all across the globe. The play has grown so much and deepened so much. The, my understanding of the character, and every night uh, we both go out there and think, this is the night we get it right, this is the night we get it right. Uh, but it's just, it's just been wonderful, a wonderful gift to... Uh, to be able to spend so long with a story and really mine it for all the great moments. We love doing the show and we love sharing the story and we always say the audience leads the play writing the third act in their own mind. They get, become so engaged with the characters and you'll laugh. Luck. <laughs> you think it's because of luck that I'm published? <laughs> Not entirely, Mr. Kilbride. <laughs> what do you mean, not entirely? With close to 60 plays to his credit, Foster is humbled and flattered to have a festival named after him. It's flattering and it's terrifying at the same time. There's a lot of pressure. Um, I often say I wish they'd waited until I was dead to start this festival, but uh, uh, it's exciting. And being in St. Catharines, I've worked in the St. Catharines area a number of times, and uh, that's one of the reasons why we're here, is because I love this area, and it's a great location, central to everything. So it's... Uh, it's, uh, I, I think it's, an, uh, it's a nice mix, a nice combination. I just hope the audiences come and see us because I think they're really going to enjoy this sh show and the, and the entire season. On a first-name basis, runs until July 2nd at Karen's Hall inside the First Ontario Performing Arts Centre. For ticket information, visit fosterfestival.com. In St. Catharines, you're watching The Source. Employers' ego needs stroking. Done.